Following his escape, mugshots of this man were plastered at every corner in Singapore, in shopping centres, buses, MRT stations and schools around the island. It was impossible to miss this face. Yet, it seemed as if he disappeared into thin air as authorities could not locate him anywhere. This is the story of Mas Selamat, part 2. After his escape from Whitley Road Detention Centre, a large manhunt was launched in the area, involving personnel from the Singapore Police Force, the Gurkha Contingent, the Singapore Armed Forces, the Police Tactical Unit, the Police National Service Key Installation Protection Unit, the Singapore Guards and the Singapore Military Police Command. But the operation was called off after 17 hours without finding the fugitive who was thought to be unarmed. The government received thousands of calls reporting Mas Salamat sightings, but while Singaporean authorities first assumed he stayed in the country, others, including the Malaysian media, speculated that he may have fled to Indonesia on a speedboat. The manhunt for Mas Salamat was regarded to be the largest in Singapore history. Nevertheless, he was nowhere to be found. After more than a year after his escape, Mas Selamat was apprehended on April 1st, 2009 in Skudai, Malaysia. He had been hiding in a house in Kampong Tawakau, an unknown settlement northwest of Johor Bahru. According to a villager who lived across the street from the fugitive's house, about 40 Royal Malaysian Police officers broke through two doors and stormed into the house after Mas Selamat's refusal to surrender. Mas Selamat was then held under Malaysia's Internal Security Act as he was planning something which led to his arrest. But on September 24, 2010, Ma Salamat was finally extradited to Singapore for indefinite confinement under the Internal Security Act, where he is still being held today. Do you still remember the Ma Salamat escape? What do you think about his prison break? Let us know in the comments below.